Let's just keep it raw. Sees it, feels it, draws inside the 10, down to the 5. the Harvard sideline. He's across the 30 to the 40. He's able to fend off the defender and bring in the game's first touchdown. Yeah, so what is that podcast called? It's called like Momentum. Welcome Man. back to Momentum. Justice, welcome episode back, bro. One. Where were you last episode? Do <laughs> you want to educate the public? We missed you, man. Was I fly fishing? I don't know where you were. Yeah, I probably was fly fishing. Utah, yeah? I think Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. Yeah. Big fly fisher, huh? Any chance I can get. Yeah. Go out to uh, one of the great states to, to fly fish. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you catch? Some brookies. I don't know what that is. Y'all know what that is? I don't know what that is. No. Some brook yeah, and so. brownies. Some good brook, brown That's trout. A, a rich rainbow man's trout. Um, sport. No, 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 no. It's not. It's an Ivy League sport. It's an Ivy League sport. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, do you fly fish? I don't. I don't. No? No. I really don't even know what it is. Like, it's a different form of fishing, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, I just really yeah. don't. Yeah. It's like a constant swing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah. actually really good fly fishing down in uh, Florida. Maybe not in Gainesville, but yeah. um, down in South Florida. Like Fort Lauderdale. In the like Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Wait, is Gainesville, is that Central Florida? It's like, like the northern half, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so northern Florida? It's like in the middle. Yeah. Kind of. Huh. Closer to Jacksonville. Actually, no, it's more northern, yeah. It is northern Florida. Yeah. How was it there? Because when we, when we traveled there, it was like, It's just a know. college town. Yeah, yeah, but it was a little yeah. sketch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and also, why? we had some like, it just wasn't, I, I, I didn't like it. Like, it was nasty and. It's the country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe that's it. But also, it was just grimy. And we also had some, uh. Some Asian takeout on our way off, the, like <laughs> on the bus. I didn't go. No, I was, you probably, I was hurt you, that you game. probably don't want any Asian food from Gainesville. From Gainesville? Yeah, it's Gainesville. Not really <laughs> they have good yeah. Mexican food actually. There's some good spots. Yeah, Latino. Yeah, I, it's not. It's not LA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, but let's get into that. So you you played for two of the best <laughs> college football teams of all time. A lot of people would say like those yeah. early 2000s Trojans teams, and then the like the 08, 09-ish Florida Gators team. Yeah. And two legendary head coaches, right, Urban and, and Pete Carroll. Pete, yeah. That's, that's wild. Like, not a lot of people can, can say they did that. Yeah, that was uh, that was the plan. It's like whatever, wherever the hype was as far as the coaches and the good coaches were, um, I just always wanted to play with the best, you know. So even when you meet Herb and you meet Pete, you just know – why they're Pete and they're Herb. Mm. You can feel their energy. You can feel that, you know, they're some of the best coaches on the planet just by the way they talk to you, the way they look you in their eye, the way um, I'd say mostly is how they uh, communicate to the athlete. Mm. They almost know what to say every time. That's interesting. Yeah. Every time. Like, there's no, it's like they're scripted. They're machines. Wow. You know, they're like program machines. And you can see that they're they're leaders mm. in two different ways, though. Like, Herb has his way. Pete has his way. This is more fun, right? Yet still serious, right? Herb's just serious, but yeah. tries to be fun. <laughs> those, those you know <laughs> I think so. it's like real serious all the time and then like a little bit of fun you don't know when like you don't know it, when you can have yeah the fun. You don't, yeah you don't know when you can have the fun right you're just like it's no. all super strict even when he's trying to be fun it's it, like still super serious you know, should i know. should i laugh yeah like, yeah, should exactly. I smirk? <laughs> yeah you know just go, go smart <laughs> yeah. it'll, get you, it'll get you both yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have oh, a funny man. uh pete carroll story that I would like for you to confirm if it's accurate. So we had, yeah. uh, I don't know if you know Christian Tupo. He was uh, one of our former strength coaches here at SC. We had yeah. him on the pod earlier. He played D-line. Yeah. He said that uh, basically the culture under Coach Carroll was like Wolf of Wall Street, if you've seen the movie. And he goes like, so in the hotels, <laughs> the <laughs> night before, the, uh, do you see where I'm going with this? The night before the games, he would allot a 15-minute interval where the players would just have a meeting room to themselves and they can do whatever they want. So that means like throwing chairs against walls. <laughs> everyone's just body slamming yeah, each other, yeah. throwing glass at each other. <laughs> yeah, like oh, all these man. Just dude. to get everything out. And then once that 15 minute you know, interval was over, then it's time to lock in. 
Yeah, yeah. That, I actually forgot about that. I think my CTE just kicked in. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's a real thing. That's that's unfortunate. Wow. <laughs> I forgot we did that. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you probably banged your head against yeah. the wall. No, yeah. so right when you just said that, a memory came up of me going to the corner when that happened because you didn't know if a chair was going to hit you. Oh. You know, you didn't know what wow. was going to yeah, yeah, you didn't know what was going to fly at you. But it was it was this coach that we had. Um I got the coach's name. My bad coach. But he was the one that he was like the hype man. Yeah, like a strength coach. Yeah, a yeah. strength coach. Always a strength coach, right? Yeah, always. You leave the room, and then uh, but it was usually the players that knew that, you know, they're not trying to win the first round or whatnot. Mm. But for the most part, the guys like Dwayne Jarrett would go in the corner, and I'll go in the corner, and we're like, <laughs> we're just, just trying to make sure our chair yeah. doesn't hit us, water bottles and – Gatorades are flying in the air with no cap on, and <laughs> <laughs> you're wow. coming out soaking wet. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's honestly like yeah. Coach Moorhead. Actually, I probably should have named him. Cut that out. <laughs> but I had a I had a wide receiver, I had a wide receiver coach um, in college uh, during like before our early morning meetings at like you know six a.m. We needed someone to like pick me up, right? Like some to get us going. So. We turn on like just YouTube videos of just twerking, just like females <laughs> just twerking. And wow, stuff. just to get yeah. us up. It never, never really worked for me, but uh, yeah, no, never really worked for me. <laughs> so, what was the idea behind that? Did Coach Crow ever say? You know, Pete, he he made it fun. You know, that was his way. It's like he made you enjoy your time at SC, whereas. I don't know Nick Saban like that, right? Yeah. I know Herb. I've heard they're very similar. Mm -hmm. um, let's just keep it raw, all right? Yeah, let's do it. I love you, Herb, but, you know, it, it wasn't as enjoyable at Florida. Yeah. It was just, uh, it was, let's get to the first round and get out of here, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. that was all our goals. Like, yeah. If you didn't go to Florida and play for Herb, that wasn't your goal. Not trying to just play football. Yeah. Herb was just trying to draft or pick up first rounders, right? Percy Harvin, like my goal was to be a first rounder. Had a lot of injuries. Tebow, Cam Newton, Brandon Spikes, like Aaron Hernandez, yeah, just the Joe Hayden, George Jenkins. Like it was just crazy. It was a wild squad, right? But we were all just football, and then you kind of have your fun on your own time. Mm. Pete Carroll, you knew like. It's gonna be football. It's gonna be serious, but at the same time, we knew we go we go into practice, we go into a, a meeting room, and we knew it was gonna be fun. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know how he did it mm -hmm. because the players we still locked in, but we still found a way to have fun. Yeah, like Pete was Pete's a genius. Like, yeah, most coaches can't do that. You know, it's yeah. an interesting line to like yeah. teeter between. He he's genius. Like it was. Yeah. How did the players not just lose focus? When he stood on the piano, <laughs> took his shirt off. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> My bad, Pete. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we can't gloss over that story, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, what? but it was, it was like. And then somehow he found a way to dial us back in. You know? Yeah. 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 Most coaches, they do something like that and just have too much fun. Players start to lose the whole meaning of what we're trying to accomplish, right? Yeah. Do you think they were too much football? Because when I think about Pete Carroll and I think about Urban Meyer, they both were in situations, and you were in the middle of it, where they both had you know something <coughs> come up, right? And that's kind of taint, tainted their legacy a little bit. Urban Meyer with you know who he recruited, and what he let go. I mean, even at Ohio State, I guess you know kind of you know wherever he's gone, there's been there's been something. Yeah. And same thing with Pete Carroll. Like, was it too much <coughs> football? I just it's, I just see it as. It's it's how bad someone wants to win, yeah. You know, yeah. When you want to win, when you want to win really bad, sometimes, sometimes at a cost. Yeah, you can sometimes cross the line. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I mean, if you look in the apple, or it's like the quote: "If you're not you're not cheating, if you're not trying hard enough." Yeah, right? like, yeah. or if you're not crossing the line, not how, <laughs> it's like, like that, yeah. yeah, you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> yeah, or if you're not crossing the line, not trying hard enough. 
you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like, where's the line, and yeah. let me see if I can get away with it. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's almost like the game of football in general, like absolute controlled chaos and like mm. it's violence at its finest, right? But like for someone to kind of be out there <coughs> mentally, you have to kind of be, I feel like the great players is like accepting the fact that you're going to sacrifice your body, right? Like that's the cost to be able to put yourself in a position to succeed, right? Yeah. Almost a prerequisite for them to recruit you is how bad, what does winning mean to you? You know? Yeah. yeah. It's like, he didn't care too much how good of an athlete you were. Actually, he did. But <laughs> I was like, what? Right? It came, it but, came, it yeah. came with the players. So it, like, yeah, I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. It, was, it was standard. Yeah. That's not something you can That was even, standard. That was yeah. standard, yeah. 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 Is, this, is this Peter Herb you're talking about? Both. Both, yeah. They really wanted to know if they were, because those were hard scholarships to get. Right, they didn't just hand them out like they were freaking yeah. little Girl Scout cookies, like a lot of these coaches do. Right? Mm-hmm. They wanted to meet with your coach. What kind of player is he? They met with your family. Like Pete was in my living room, you know, because um, they want to know. Okay, is he a leader? How bad does he want to win? Right. Right. So now he just has a bunch of players who just want to win at all costs. Mm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so now it's it's. Comes down to just the coach. Like the coach just wants to really win. So even if he crosses the line, he doesn't see it as bad. Right. <laughs> he just sees yeah, it. I'm just trying just, to win. Right. You I'm, know? And yeah. yeah. Is paying players really that bad though? Um, I think who who do you know like that was just, like getting paid? <laughs> Actually, I, know. I, I was trying to. Ask, about I, was number, trying to like, I was trying to ease into it, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, you can just, just name a number, oh, a number of players. Oh, man, yeah. I feel like we're past the date where it even matters. Everyone, all the sanctions well, have yeah. already happened. You know, yeah. like we know Reggie was getting paid. We'll we'll keep it raw. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was getting paid. I was getting paid, and uh, the thing about it is, people see it as black and white, right and wrong, right. Oh, there's a gray area. It's like, I didn't grow up rich. I didn't have a lot. Mm. That money could have gave me a lot of things that I wish my mom would have bought me. Mm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it really came down to is I went with those little Hot Wheel cars, right? When I was a kid, my mom didn't have enough money to get us one. Yeah. Or she had the money, but she, she's it's like a saint. She gives money to, like, the poor, right? She gives the money to the church. Like, she's right. a very godly woman, right? So there's a lot of things I didn't have growing up and wanted and uh, it wasn't necessarily SC that paid me. Mm-hmm. How they pay you, not SC, it's just the community pays you. Right. It makes sense? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not Pete Carroll. Like, everyone thinks, oh, Pete Carroll and the administration, hey, Emmanuel, here you go. Like, great game. Great game. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be trickled down, like, where, like, the, com- the commands, right? Oh, no. Like, it's You're saying where they know about it? Where they, like, hmm. hey, like, we need to get this guy. No, this is how it works, right? USC is in one of the richest areas in the United States. Emmanuel Moody gets the player of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Now he goes out to town. Mm-hmm. He meets some rich investors, some rich guys out there, right? Because who he's rubbing shoulders with? Because at that time, we were the stars. There was no LA Rams. There was no LA Chargers. True. It was right. USC football. That was it. Right. right, so I'm rubbing shoulders with Adam Sandler and Chris Rock and all these guys, right? And then they obviously know I'm a college student. How are you doing on funds? That's how it starts. Yeah. How are you doing on funds? And you want to work for my hedge fund? And here's an envelope. What's your routing number? Wow. Literally, that's how it works, right? Because they just want to be around you. Right. Yeah, and they want to help you out, and they want to feel like they're doing good for a kid who's. Has a future and doing yeah. big things. Yeah, so. you can't say no either. Oh, oh no you way. can't say no. I <laughs> mean, just hard. from like the personal standpoint of like, like you can't re- you can't reject them, but too like, like you need it almost. We're yeah. struggling. Yeah, you're struggling. I'm asking like, my mom for yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, it's like this little stipend's not gonna pay for my car payment, gas, yeah. food. Am I supposed to be just a robot and not go out and have fun? Right. Have a nice dinner sometimes, right? right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
just balled out in the game. We want to go to a nice dinner, you know, maybe got a girlfriend or something and want to get her something nice too, yeah. right? Am I going to wear the same clothes every day? Right? No. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, so you want to get a nice outfit and because yeah. you live in L.A. Yeah. You can't dress like a bum. I was about to say, you got to keep up with the There's area. There's a lot of pressure. Too, yeah. Yeah. A lot of pressure. And the image. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think so many, I think you broke it down perfectly. So many people just look at it from a black and white standpoint. There is there is a gray area where it's like a lot of players are struggling. They don't see the human. They don't, they don't, yeah, they don't see the human part of it, yeah. right? Like you can't put a face to it. You can't put a life and a story to it. And that, and that becomes the issue with why people have a problems with, with paying players. Like, it's because they don't really see the story. Like, there's a story behind that. It's really the rich having a problem with it. You know? Yeah. In other colleges, too, yeah. they can't afford it. Yes. Yeah, or that just don't have the community yeah, have to the community, support yeah. it. Yeah. 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 They, they don't see the situation within the player. It's another coach who's getting paid a lot, bagging on this player, who usually a lot of these players don't have much at all. Yeah. Right? right? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't have much at all. It's like it, it hurt for my family to even come and fly out here to watch a game, right? Yeah. So, yes, I'm going to take some money. Hey, mom, family, here, I'll get the tickets. Yeah. You know, so did I need that much money? No, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? I'll be honest. Um, but, you know, you get caught up in the lifestyle of L.A. and Hollywood, and, you know, I guess that's what, SC has a lot to offer too, is the yeah. area, right? Just like the University of Miami would have, South Beach. So, how did that change with Florida and I guess that community? Like, uh, so Florida, it's different. I mean, we never got cracked down with players getting paid. You have to see where Florida's located, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. They yeah. But there's still a big booster community, though. There is. There is. And uh, the cops are the students. <laughs> <laughs> there is but you know like i said it's, it's it's mostly the community that is paying you right yeah at florida it's love my gators but it, it's it's like the country out there yeah you know it's 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 the country folk out there they're not gonna come up to you and say, "Hey, you need a ride? Yeah, you need, you need a car? I'll, I got you. You know, I'll, I'll get a yeah. car for you." Or out here, you know, some of these rich people out here, and you know, they become your friends. Yeah, yeah, they become your friends, and hey, you need a car, right? Sure. Sometimes this car might be a Range Rover or a G wagon, you know, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I, that's I, how you just need a car. Yeah, in Florida, <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, when I was playing out here, it's, <clears throat> we all, had, not we all, but the guys who did well in, on the field, we, we drove nice cars, right? Gainesville, no one drove a nice car. Tebow was driving a... Moped. Yeah, m mopeds. And it's like Tebow was driving a beat-up little yeah. Ford yeah, I was driving my little Acura. I mean, everyone had their little cars, but you could tell it was all under five grand. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah. um, I'm curious as to what you think NIL will will do in like paying student athletes. Yeah. My theory is that like the schools like USC and Miami that are in big communities and big cities, big markets, will have an opportunity to go back to their like national championship eras of success. Uh, just because you're able to market that, like come to LA, you know, the Hollywood and the, you can use your name image likeness and, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the movie capital of the world, yeah. essentially. So that to me is, is the biggest sell of, of any university that you can have. Um, which, I mean, we were talking to a few like podcast networks, um, that are trying to you know get ahead of the whole NIL thing. And, and they're thinking that within the next few months, it might start shifting. Because Florida, the state of Florida, <laughs> July, July 1st, I believe, student athletes can start monetizing their name, image, likeness. Mm -hmm. So once a few states, you know, start this legislation, then, you know, the NCAA is incentivized to like, create like a uniform policy just because it'll be so un uh, imbalanced. Like, why wouldn't I go to Florida State where I can make $100,000 and you know, go to another ACC or SEC school? Yeah. Um, like, I think there's an opportunity for USC to get back to those you know, those days when you were here almost, you know, in a legal sense, right? Because, you know, back then we were paying guys, but now there are those opportunities and they're, they're you know, allowed by the NCAA. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, we, we talking about players getting paid or just 
how schools can really mean? have an well, advantage I, to. Yeah, you, I think you're saying more the recruiting angle, right? Because you know. Well, yeah, but that's that's a big reason why you came here, right? I'm assuming, you know, like a lot of the guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I came because you can see, like, I came here because of Pete. Yeah, Gainesville's complete opposite. Right. <laughs> there's no Hollywood. There's no stars. Like, yeah. there's nothing in Gainesville, right? Yeah. So I went there just to win the next championship with with Herb. Now, mm-hmm. I just went with who was ever number one. That's where yeah. I wanted to play because you know, I hated to lose. Yeah. Well, that makes a point because I think I think that statement probably would have been true 10, 15 years ago. But with like now where the where the, where the winning or I mean, that's probably not now, but where the winning goes, like the money goes. Right. Like a, a Coastal Carolina team could market themselves and like a player there can make a lot of money. It, I, I think it just matters now. Like, yeah. are you winning? Like, are you winning? Yeah, that's or, always, or, that's or what are you getting about. eyeballs? It's yeah. always cyclical, though, because <clears throat> like, if you think about it. Right. They're they're recruiting a kid who's had a dream to play in the NFL, right? Yeah. yeah. Not a kid who had a dream to play in college, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's really how you, that's how you have to see it. Like my dream was not to play in college. I knew that was gonna happen, right? And when that was cocky, oh, you didn't go to college. Everyone's go D one. It's like a thousand players go D one. That's that's the easy part. Yeah. NFL was on my mind since I was like 11, right? So. I see all these NFL players come out through Pete Carroll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pete, I'm coming. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care if you're freaking Lubbock, Texas at Texas Tech. <laughs> you're winning. Yeah. Guys are getting drafted. I'm coming. I'm there. Yeah. yeah. Urban Meyer now. He's right. He yeah. won the national championship. I'm about to transfer. I'm coming now. I went to Gainesville. I was like, this city sucks. <laughs> Love you guys. The city sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Hey, Gainesville, come on now. You think of Florida, you don't think of Gainesville, right? Yeah, yeah. You think of Miami, Fort Lauderdale, yeah, yeah. right? All the nice areas. So, you know, you go because the coach. Mm. That's why he gets all these ballers because I'm not the only one thinking this. Yeah. We're all thinking NFL. Right. Right? So that's our goal. So, coach, you can get, you get us in the NFL. And I know the NFL is watching the number one team. It's your best chance to go in the league is from the most winningest coach and team. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So I didn't care who, where we were at, right? Being in Alaska, if Herb was in Alaska, I'm you're in going Alaska. to Alaska. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to Alaska. I yeah. went to Gainesville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. 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 that's a parallel. These Gators fans are going to be all right. Yeah. 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 Take, take the University of Florida out of Gainesville. There's no bill. There's no nothing. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, just, it's a nothing. Just a yeah. dot on it's the map? Yeah. Dang. It's, it's, it's flat land. I didn't even like Gainesville, Gainesville, but the way you're talking about it, you're <laughs> worse than me. I talk about it bad. Like, every time someone asks me about how University of Florida was, I'm like, that place is trash. But yeah. that's, that's but every SEC school outside of Vanderbilt, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's no, great. no, no. You, no. Bro. Hey, name, so, a, name a nice SEC town outside of Nashville. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like Oxford. Oxford. It's a nice college Ole town, but there's nothing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah the college town. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I liked it. What Oxford's about cool? If that's what you're into. Okay. <laughs> like to me, like to me, like I grew Oxford's up cool. If that's what you're into. Like to like I grew up a huge Gator fan. My dad went yeah. to Florida. Like I grew up watching Tim Tebow, going to games every year, all that. Like yeah. I love Gainesville because I like that college atmosphere. Like Florida. Like if that's what you cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Take Florida out Gainesville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going there. You're not going there, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There's nothing yeah, yeah. there. Tallahassee, there's actually some things to do out there. Yeah, I did hear Tuscaloosa, did there's some. Tuscaloosa is not there? too bad. Yeah. Tuscaloosa is not yeah. too bad. By the way, are they paying players? What? Are they yeah. paying players? Tuscaloosa? Yeah, in Alabama? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, community, there's a lot of rich boosters community out there. So, so they are. Sure, I'm sure they are. Yeah. Oh, they have to. I mean, I, I, heard, I heard in the locker room from the guys yeah. uh, when I was with the Chiefs, the LSU guys. They are getting paid a lot? No, I, I just heard in the locker room that yeah. – because well, not- dude, people from after the Georgia game, like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Or, yeah, oh, no, it was not the, no. champ- the championship game. Odell, no, oh, well, okay, yeah, well, you get that. But yeah. I'm saying after one of our games, one of the players, like, we're just like talking to them, and I'm like, I mean, they had all, like their gold chains on, like, underneath yeah. their pads and everything. I'm like, bro, like, how? Because, yeah, how it's, anyway? it's, yeah it's, I'm getting like four, it. 4K a month. It's, it's easy. Yeah. It's like, it's low key a lot. Yeah, <laughs> low key. <laughs> He's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I pay, I, I, I toss a, I toss a kid a thousand and do my homework, and he's like, I got three, and then he's like, school already taking, you know, I'm already getting the school stipend. He's like, I got 
like man, I buy a new one, you know, every month. Easy. <laughs> Which I'm like, you're an idiot, but nice. Loki, I feel like there's like a standard of like quietness though. We're supposed to keep about that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's like discretion uh, almost. You know it's what so I mean? obvious. It's it is sure. obvious, yeah, but there's so like as, among the football community, it's like. We're not going to tell them. Like, but they're, who snitches on themselves? Nah, yeah, I'm, good. <laughs> I'm good. Let's snitch on everyone, bro. <laughs> no, bro. No, but they're, they're kind of slick with it, though. So <laughs> That's be, cold. <laughs> dude, everyone outside of SC, it clears out the path. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying I was mad because I'm seeing what he's doing, and he's, make, you know, he's yeah. making fun of us. After, you know, we did lose that game, too, so it made it worse. But I'm yeah. just like, Damn. yeah. I'd love to yeah. come home and you know see a nice check. Yeah. Well, See, LSU nice went from, like, outside of the top 25 on a yearly basis to, like, the number one team in the country. Oh, yeah. Like, overnight. That and old so miss. That Ultron. Old miss. Yeah, yeah true. Oh, Dude, Talk to him face-to-face? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to go to LSU. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> 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 like, uh, because he was at SC. Uh, when, was he at SC yeah, when yeah. you were there? Yeah. He was on the staff. He was there for uh, – he was just leaving, but met with them and just – yeah, you tell he, he he's has a stud. It. He yeah. has it. He's a good and he's a good dude too. Yep, great guy. Dude. Yeah, he's yep. a good dude. Was that, was Land the OC? Yeah, that's why I went to USC originally. It was because of Kiffin. Yeah, he's the one that believed in me. He was the OC, so I was like, he was real young at the time too. Thirty one, crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's thirty one years old. So and you and you played running back. Yep, play running back. Yep. I mean, that's a. How was Land? Did you vibe with him? Yeah, yeah, Land cool was, was cool. Yeah, he seems like a real players coach. Yeah, he's he's weird. Is he? <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a good way, you know, his own way is weird. What do you what mean? Is it like just way? like too much? Like just breathes football too much? Nah, no, it's just like it doesn't seem like he'd be like the type of guy. No, I mean, he's where's he uh, from? He's not the know. most charismatic guy. That's what I'm saying. Really, oh. he gives that off. He kills social media. What? He's tapped into social media. He's he kills got, it because when I knew, him, he, I knew him as thirty. Tapped I knew him as the thirty-one year old Lane Kiffin. Right. Right. Thirty-one year old Lane Kiffin and uh, um. Like he was getting his feet wet. Yeah. Right. Great offensive mind. He he's he's a great guy at as far as scouting talent. Right. He'll get guys who you never really thought about and then place them in a position that do well. It's like, who is this guy though? Right? Yeah. Um but Kif- yeah, Kiffin was a lot of football. Yeah, he's football, a lot of football. football. He interacts with the student body too a lot, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to know more about. Yeah, that. Yeah, like, is you ever come in the meeting room oh, and man. talk, <laughs> talk about something that happened? Man, I, I even heard girls. that at Ole Miss now he's dating like. Yeah, I heard that. You heard about that? Yeah, you hear about that through the, 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 through the, the girl, dating a girl in college. Yeah, yeah, like I'm sure he's he's sure he's doing that. He's got a, he's got a full family, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Well, how was he like in LA? Was he uh, going out all the time and all that? I feel like he ran LA. Not run LA, but nah, nah, Pete you know ran saying? LA. He ran LA. Oh, Pete. Oh, yeah, Pete was older man, though. Pete. Lane was young. You could still go out to the club. No, Lane was married at the time. That's why. Oh, was he? Yeah, I think they're divorced now. Oh, I mean, I don't so know. now, now <laughs> he's he's running wild in Oxford, huh? What'd you hear though? Like, I want to know genuinely because I didn't hear that. Oh, bro. I'd can yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep, keep a yeah. certain level of discretion, bro. Yeah. Dang, uh, unless it. you know it happened, and yeah, just say, just say, oh, I know, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, oh, wow. Well, I gotta, I gotta ask because my favorite, one of my favorite college players of all time, one is Reggie Bush, but the other is Tim Tebow. Um, like, how I, I just want to know, like, how it, like. I've always wanted to meet the dude because he seems Which like a one? good team. Te- well, both. Tebow, Reggie, Reggie, I got full respect for, especially when he started dating Kim. Like I, th- I was, <laughs> yeah, like I always wanted to be Reggie because <laughs> because of that. Bro, yes, because of that. He uh, killed it in college football. He killed it off the, the field Saints. too. Huh? Yeah. Huh? he killed it on and off the field. On, on and off yeah. the field. I was yeah. like, I gotta be that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I, but Tim uh, Tim Tebow, like I've always like. I don't know. Some something about him, right? His like the way he walks. It seems like he's graceful. I I don't know. Like what Tebow? Yeah. Meeting him, like how was how was or playing with him? Yeah, yeah same backfield. It was a Tebow story, huh? You know, T- Tebow's probably one of the most competitive guys I've ever played with. He probably he actually was actually. Mm-hmm. If you really think about it, he wasn't the most talented. Didn't have the best arm. Mm-hmm. Slow as hell. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let's be real. You know, like. 
So, talent wise, how was he good? Can we say? You tell me. No, I'm saying you guys seen him play, right? Yeah, I don't. I, I trust. Yeah, him. you're I, looking at I, me. I, I don't see him win I, games though. So I. That's it. I, he, he, he found was a, a way to win. That's what I'm trying to say. Is yeah. his biggest talent was he'll win at all costs. Like mm-hmm. it didn't matter what it took. Yeah. If it took for a player to get stronger, he's gonna get on the strength coach's ass. You know, like yeah. he just he found the way which I've never seen any player do. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it was cussing at Coach Meyer to give him the ball or something, like yeah, Tebow went that far, right? <laughs> he curses, cussing. See, that's what I was about to say. He <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> "That's what I'm saying." I'm like, how far off is his TV personality, you know, image versus? But I mean, we don't have is, to. Is, like, is anything saying? ever really true on media? <laughs> no, I mean, right? everyone has their intention. Everyone's trying to portray some agenda. Like, yeah. no one's just going to keep it. Behind closed doors, right? Yeah. Like, you're not going to act the same way you're acting with your friends out and about with no cameras in front of you. I just find it right? tough to keep everything kind of like, like yeah, you're saying, it, like you, you don't can only do so to, much. Yeah, yeah you like, can only do so much to where like someone's that like, person that people <clears throat> think you are becomes the like the person that you really are, right? Like, it, like you can only you generally try to stay somewhat relative. Yeah. So like you hear a story, and you're like, oh, it's not too far off from what we see. Yeah. Versus like. You're completely, you know, in two different lanes. The next thing you know, you hear something from left field. You're like, that can't be possible. Yeah, that can't you know, be true like, about no Tebow. Yeah, I mean, is his message good? I yeah, think so. I think it's positive, right? So we don't want to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. You know, so uh, yeah, he's human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not what you see on media, though. But yeah, I think he he's smart. He has he had a good message, led people a lot, led people into good paths, and you know, where a lot of players don't do that. So I can respect that, right? Yeah. Um, he's well, human. He's human, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, th- I think that I think you you can, just, you can just leave what? it at that. That, well, he, that he's I was human. Ask. What does that <laughs> mean? Well, what I was gonna ask mean? like, I mean, you don't have to. Go in depth. Yeah. You don't want, but like, like you see what? the pa- you see the passion he has on the field. Yeah, that same passion can get ugly. Mm. You know, mm. yeah, it can get ugly. You can get ruthless. And are you talking about like with he's teammates? A bi- he's a big like pushing boom too. Low what key. are you talking about like with teammates? Like yeah. pushing guys like too much. You're saying yeah. Like me and Tebow got into a couple times. Really? What That's happened? But like you get into it during like a a practice. Sometimes, yeah. like, I mean, even at, at Harvard, like, you know, guys yeah, you got get, into you it. Know, you yeah. get into you it. Get into it's it. just that, I mean, he had his faults. I don't want to criticize the man for his faults. But personally for me, I mean, it's just, he's a snitch. Mm. Yeah, snitch on every play. Like, it's really? Just, Jeez. That, that didn't rub, that didn't, that, that just didn't settle well with us, right? It's like. So was he not kind of liked? No. Yeah, he wasn't liked. But what's this? on the field, we loved him because, yeah, hey, yeah. Tebow, let's, let's win, right? Yeah. Off the field, it's like, I mean, we know who you are, you know? Mm. Yeah. So, so you were able to make that distinction, like, off the field, Tim, and on the field? Yeah. Because I feel like a lot, a lot of the time it leaks over. No, it's just t- like He was so good that you would kind of put that aside. Tebow was above the team. Mm. Not that he put himself above the team. But he almost became above the team, and then he started to take that role in that position, right? Yeah. So he was no longer a teammate. He was a coach, mm. right? He didn't Ugh. meet with us. He met that with the coaches. Sounds horrible. No, it was oh, bad. Really? Yeah, he met that with the coaches. Horrible. So when Tebow comes around, so, hey, oh, oh, oh hey, 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 hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, me, I got, hey, I got the white shirt on. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I am team fitted right now, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta make sure you're in yeah. team gear. T- Tebow comes around. <laughs> you can't say anything. You, oh, you him, straighten so. up. Yeah. You care, careful what you say because you know it's going back in to tell everybody. It's going upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's going but upstairs. So. Did, it, did it work? Because you guys won an SC championship and a national championship. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, with what Herb did, it worked. Because. Yeah. It wasn't Tebow. Yeah. It was It was Herb. Mm. Like, was that, yeah. you know, he went to Ohio State, did the same thing. Yeah. Right. right? So. Yeah. So do you think if, if Cam played, you'd have the same outcome? <laughs> oh, it, it, it didn't matter who it was. He recruited the right players. I mean, how can you lose with the players that he recruited, right? Yeah. Great yeah, recruiter. 
And the uh, roster was stacked. Oh, it was just like, if you don't win the national championship with that team, yeah. then you, you, you should go down as one of the worst coaches, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so you, didn't, you just didn't yeah. win with first rounders. You went with pro bowlers. Yeah. yeah. Norris Jenkins, Joe Hayden, and Carlos Dunlap, yeah. Cam Newton, right? Percy yeah. Harvin. Yeah. Just go down the list, right? Aaron yeah. Hernandez, like, these weren't just NFL guys. These are pro bowlers, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. Dude, but, I heard um, I heard Cam Newton talking about Percy Harvin on I Am Athlete, that Brandon Marshall podcast. He said, in his opinion, that's the greatest college football player of all time. <coughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to go on back. Like Cam, Cam, Cam was just talking about how special Percy was. What I think I've it was seen. like LSU game, the story, where um, – who was the OC? Uh, it was, it was Coach Mullen, right? Yeah. Where Coach Mullen called down, and Cam's listening on the headsets or whatever, and he goes, I think y'all were down or something. Maybe you remember – he was like, gosh darn it, like, get, the, get the ball to Percy. And so, like, <laughs> Coach Mullen just drew it up for him, and Percy ran, like, an 80-yard screen, you know, to the house, and it kind of, like, set the tempo for the rest of the game. I'm just saying, like, as far as seeing Julio Jones in person, seeing, Ooh, like, I forgot about these, Julio. Yeah, seeing all these guys. What are you saying in college? No, I'm saying, uh, yeah. what, when, oh, he Julio, Julio, when he gets Julio, yeah. what, probably three years in a row? Um, or two years? Reggie Bush, though. No, 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 no. Were you you were on the team with no. Reggie though? Were you? <laughs> no. What was Reggie on the team when you were here? Or did he leave? No, before? he was. He left, but I saw him for workouts. And, okay, okay. Right. And, uh, he trained with us in the summer. Yeah. But as far as his talent, you just say raw talent. Just, oh, okay, okay. I, okay. Pro- I got might be Percy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. He's special. It might be Percy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was. Uh, he, he was natural. Yeah. You know, he was natural. I mean, he, 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 I think he said like he didn't even practice. This is according to Cam. Like he had the always had the migraine issue. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Percy was just uh, he just knew the game. Like he knew what he needed to do. He knew how to train. Yeah, you know he kind of took that less is more approach. Mm. I mean, just, he, he he wasn't a workhorse, but he knew exactly what he needed to work on. Mm. Most guys just work, 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 work. That's like Reggie, right? I feel like he's well, Reggie he's works, a lot. Being works that a lot. Works a lot, right? Yeah, he works a lot. Uh, Reggie was impressive when I seen him move, but. Not like Percy. Mm, yeah. Percy was different. It was just, it was very electric, uh, sudden, right? Yeah. Very decisive. You go over each play. It's like th- that's how I grade players, or even just judge players. It's like, okay, that play you should have done this. Percy didn't have a lot of plays where it's like you should have done this. You did exactly what yeah. was there yeah. and what you should yeah. have done. Yeah, and, you know. So yeah. Yeah, sometimes you see players like. Ah, uh, you could have done this, should have done that. Yeah. Right. Percy didn't have a lot of that. It was just like, damn, he he did exactly. Good what, job. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, he moved different on the field. It was, uh, yeah, yeah, he was he was special. But it's like he didn't need to work a lot. Sometimes you don't need to work a lot. You need to rest your body. Mm. You know. So they saw Percy as lazy. It's like, no, he's just smart. Oh really? Yeah, he's smart. Like he knew he, was, he would go back to Jersey, work with his trainer out there. Didn't do a lot with us in the summer. Mm-hmm. Like he had a good game plan of how he, how he dominates on the field. Yeah, you know, everyone else is oh, you gotta be a team player and work, 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 grind, grind, grind. You're lazy. It's like no. Yeah. Hey, strength coach, you never played the game like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At this level, you know. Honestly, that's like a big fault for colleges. Like you just like throw this blanket workout plan, this blanket like right. lift. On a just bunch of these players, and like you roll it out, them. and this, you just grind them, right? Yep. And then you have players that like would do a lot better in a program that's more fitted towards them, or exactly. it's like you know, like maybe I don't need to do these squats. Yeah. Like let me just do a couple step ups, and like re- like you said, rest yeah. rest the body. Yeah, because most of the guys, that, if you do your research right, and you really look into it. Most of these guys who go in the first round who make it, summer workouts training, they're not with the team, right? Brian Cushing was in New Jersey with his guy, right? Mm-hmm. So did Clay Matthews went with him. Yeah. Percy went with his guy. It's like a lot of these guys were gone for the, the team stuff Yeah. because they might have had some deal with the coaches. I'm doing the same lift now with the freaking linemen. You know, right. like it's, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's just a blanket little <laughs> yeah. workout plan for the rest of the team. It's not specified to your position and how to and cut. And the needs. Yeah, and the movements, the functional movements to make yeah. you a better player on the field. And then these, these strength coaches and coaches, it's like, Percy was already good in high school. I was already good in high school. Like, my game didn't change much at all. Yeah. So whoever got me there up to college, 
that's the mm. one, that's the person who really takes the credit. Mm. Not mm. the strength coach, right? So right. I need to stay on my same plan. So a lot of these players did that, right? A lot of these players would stay on their same plans. Like, no, this is why I'm good. This is why you recruited me because of the team I had before I even met you. Right, yeah. you right. Know? Now you get the strength coach. Just, rah, 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 come on, let's go. Uh, more weight. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Nothing's functional. Rah, rah, rah. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, I got, you know, strength coach of the year award three years in a row. And yeah. I'm this and that. It's like, you're making us run around the damn, like, square. Yeah. Just racing, going over hurdles. Like, how's this going to translate, right? So these players who really make it, they have their coaches they had in high school, right? They're still going back to them. Yeah. Like, and they work yeah. with them after college too. They're back with him just fully now, right? right. Not having yeah. to go through all that BS yeah. of the strength coaches getting in the way of their their off season uh, um, development. You know, yeah. So it's it, it sucks for a lot of players. You know yeah. that. Well, I was about to say, like, I feel like it'd be tough for because, like, you can probably have a lot of development for players that maybe don't have that spotlight or type of pool. That a coach would allow them to be like, yeah, you can, you know, we know what you do, so you go ahead and do your thing. But, like, I feel like there's some, play, you know, hidden gems or players that obviously, you know, you're part of the program, then they get thrown in that blanket, and then, like, yeah. they don't have that pool yet. Like, like they damn. haven't had that time to shine, yeah. and then it's like, next thing you know, their four years is done. Well, and they're like, exactly. I just got capped. That yeah. doesn't exist anymore either. Like, you don't have the option not to work out with the team. Well, yeah. that's what I was saying. I was like, yeah. did he not get slack for that? Or, like, no. how did that work? It's just, it's Percy Harvin. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. So yeah. you get those guys like that. Those guy, gems. Yeah. You're like, it's you're, you're a dude. Yeah, you're the face. Yeah, I don't know, though. Because, like, yeah. we have guys <clears throat> up for the Belitnikov and, you know, big awards, and you have to be here. I mean, maybe I guess it's different with Herb, but. Yeah, it's just some guys have it, like Reggie Bush. That whole summer, he yeah. worked out with LT. Really? Yeah. Worked out so with not LT. with the team at wow. all. Like, not the team at all. It's just wow. worked out with LT, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's like. They just have man-to-man -man conversations with the coach and say, hey, this summer, like, let me work with my guy because this is why I'm Reggie Bush or this is why I'm Moody or this is why I'm so-and-so, right? Makes sense. Yeah, it's like this coach didn't do – he didn't He didn't get me to USC. It's true. You know? Right. Yeah. No, Leonard got me to USC. Kim Matsuda helped me get to USC, right? Like, yeah. not Chris Carlisle, the strength coach. Yeah. You know, like right. – Yeah, yeah like, and their workouts are completely different. Mm -hmm. It's very specific to that position. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, you're working and training and lifting according to how you cut, yeah. according to how you're gonna move on the field. Whereas, you go to the strength coach and do just you know freaking squats and yeah, you know little deadlifts all day. Yeah, I was about right. to say every coach uh, just it's all the same. It's all, it's yeah. all cookie cutter. Yep, it's just who can yell the most and who can turn up the music and yell the loudest, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that low key is weight room. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. it's every yeah. weight room anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's insane. Yeah. But it, well, it, it worked for some colleges like. With Teddy talking about Coast Carolina, like that's yeah. something, that's something that brings. I feel them like together. it's more culture based. It's culture, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, my, and it also might work out to like the low end, the low level of like those colleges that, you know, they get in the weight room together and it's you know they're not not great on talent and like I don't know help helps yeah. them out a bit. Because if that works, think about it. If that works, right? These strength coaches work this and that. Why aren't any of these NFL ballers going back to their college and working with the strength coach? Yeah. Right, not one. That's a fair point. Not not a lot of them. I I know a couple, but not a lot of them go back. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. you don't see Julio Odell and Reggie and all these guys go back to the college to work out and train. Yeah. Right. Right. I also oh. think it's sus how they go back to some of these facilities though too. Like they go to some of the, like the top facilities. Like oh, like I know like this place is like is where everybody goes. So like I'm going. I, I don't know. Yeah. I've always been no, someone yeah, that's right. been like you're right. Yeah, you I'm, I'm a little sketched out by that. Yeah. You know? they'll, they'll follow so and so because hey. So and so is saying, "Hey, this guy is he's this, really good." This, yeah, this is a top facility. Place to be. Like, it's just one of those. Like, it's kind of like the big, like those big facilities. They're like out here in L. A. Too. It's you don't like, like those the Exos. Yeah, and that's like, like a Mamba. It's more. I feel yeah, like it's Mamba. more optics. To be honest, like yeah. I haven't really seen. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I haven't really seen it change a lot of people, yeah. and I, I don't it, know because the reason why they go there too is because now they're competing with them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, true. Yeah, so even if they're going to Exos, it's like a bunch of. Pro bowlers are going to be there. Yeah. You got There's it. people you're surrounded with. Yeah, yeah. now you're surrounding yeah. with yourself. You're with your boys, too. Yeah, you're with your boys. Yeah. Yeah. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, I guess, yeah. at that point. Like, yeah, it is a little yeah. social thing. Yeah, yeah it sure. is. Yeah.
because during quarantine, I trained down in uh, South Florida at a place called Bomberitos. It was all like the Miami Dolphins players. So yeah. after the lifts and runs, they would all just throw. It would be like um, Josh Rosen when he was there. He'd get together with all the receivers and all that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's a team building thing. You yeah. can't go to your Miami Dolphins facility in Davie. So yeah, I think it's a social Because that in itself is going to make you better. Yeah. yeah. Young, young up-and-coming guy. Yeah. Like, Where's AB training at? Is yeah. yeah Bomberitos? Okay, this is... Let's work out herping end because I know we're going to do one on ones. Let me pick his brain. Let me do, let me see how he's running his route. Yeah, like right. that itself is going to. That's, that's value. That's yeah. gold. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Value that's gold, right? Yeah. If I Great. had a chance to train with Barry Sanders oh, yeah. and just see how he moves and pick his brain, it could have been at the worst training So I don't care. Barry's there. Yeah. yeah. So let me go and scan his brain, see how he moves, pick his brain. And then yeah. now I just stole a bunch of, of, of his data and information that I can supply to my body now. Yeah, yeah. right. You know? So, okay, so for the audience who might not know, you're a huge uh, speed coach down in OC, right? Killing it. Uh, we had the conversation with Vavai, our running back, about, like, different training methods. And uh, he, through one of our players, Isaiah Palomau, uh, his uncle, I believe, is Troy Palomalu, yeah. right? And so okay. Troy, I don't know if you're familiar with his training method, but it's through Todd Marinovich. And Troy's? The yeah, yeah, Troy. Because yeah. I think early in his career he had a lot of injuries, and then he switched to like a lot more of band work. Yeah, right? a lot of band yeah. work, like very little weight. Um, so I, I'm just curious, like, what what's your philosophy? Like, what do you tell like your clients in terms of like optimal speed? And cause I know Tebow as well. The whole TB12 is like you know 90 percent bands and that whole thing in dealing oh, with the injuries. Tom, and then Tom Brady. Yeah, and then me yeah. myself, I'm coming off an ACL, um, seven weeks. Uh, post op so I'm always looking for different you know strategies and things I yeah. can do number one rule anytime an athlete comes in they know the rules every you can't get injured on my clock right you can't get injured on my clock so everything's about injury prevention first right yeah right because I've been an athlete in college what do they do they push you through injuries yeah, yeah. right Yep. Like there's a culture where like you can't be a bitch, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your pussy hurt me. Go. Oh, my shoulder hurts though. Keep going. Oh, my shoulder's broke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right? Is that not yeah, the truth? No. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Even um, I'm sure uh, on the Chiefs, but like with the Eagles, like yeah, it was don't tell anyone you're hurt. Yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. hurt. Yeah, well, you're yeah, not hurt. Tell them what they told you in the in the training when you went in. Yeah, I walked in and one of the one of the players like stopped me and he's like, "What are you going in there for?" And I was like, uh, "Like I wanted him to kind of check my my wrist is broken, yeah. my foot's <laughs> messed up," and he's like, "Don't no." He's, he's like, "Just go in there, grab yeah. tape, and then come see yeah. me." And I went in and one of the other players was talking about how he got hurt at practice yeah. earlier that day, and literally the next day he was gone. Yeah, it's so crazy. Uh, That's the yeah. culture, but. Low key looking out for you a little bit too. Well, no, no, uh, yeah, he was and, being and a real league, homie because yeah. I saw <laughs> what player. happened. But yeah, it was like, that's, 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 yeah. That, yeah, I mean that's it, and it sucks because I always tell my athletes, it, even if they're a high school athlete, because I was trained like this. See, my uncle told me he goes, like a pro. Yeah, like a pro yeah. because he's like, remember this body. He's like, you're trying to be first rounder, right? So already think as a first rounder, like this yeah. body's worth fifty million. Exactly. You're right. Like yeah. it's it's a, it's an investment. Yeah. Right. Don't damage the investment. So in training, my number one rule is you never get hurt in training. Yeah. Always develop, we grow, but never get hurt because training's the whole purpose of it is to develop you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not to hurt you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I hated about college was it was almost like it was just for for toughness. Mm, yeah. It was a whole toughness method. It's like yeah. right. now I'm going to the field seventy percent of myself playing, you know, a, a, a twelve season uh, a, a 11 game postseason, right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. and when you want to be at a hundred percent and then some, right. Right. For the next season. So that's the whole, that's number one, but number two is like the speed's name of the game, whether it's how fast is your foot speed? How fast are you getting out of your cuts? How fast are you making the cut? How fast is your linear speed? How fast is your velocity as a quarterback throwing? Bat speed, pitching speed. So I deal with, everyone sees me as a linear speed coach. I'm like, I'm a speed coach. Mm. I just increase speed, whether it's. In all speed, facets of the game. All facets. Now, when you have your mind on speed, right, you're strengthening the joints now, too, because the central nervous system, the brain, is not going to release 100% power through a certain joint 
if it's not stabilized and strong, right? right. So not only that, that's going to help with injury prevention too, right? So speed almost encompasses everything. If you don't encompass everything, then you're not going to maximize your speed uh, uh, fully. Yeah. So on top of that, it's like, oh, you're a speed coach. You don't do strength. Strength has to do with speed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm a strength coach too, right. you know, but – I like to say speed coach because I want the idea and the athlete to know that, okay, speed is everything. Now we're going to do everything to strengthen your speed, increase your speed, because that's what's going to get you left behind at the end of the day because every level, the speed of the game changes. Faster. It just gets faster and faster yeah. and faster, right? They cut faster. They move faster. They play faster. They think faster, yeah. right? So, like, and most of my athletes – when I get them, a lot of what they do is natural, right? Most of what they do is strength training and, and whatnot. A lot of guys don't understand how uncoordinated we actually are. It's like, because for true speed, you have to learn how to use your foot, hand, oh, knee, <laughs> elbow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, going through this training, man, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, it's mentally challenging. It's, it's, it's a lot of coordination involved, but... Yeah that can increase your speed even more because now when you sprint, what do people think? Run hard. Yeah. Right? Like it's like arm movement. Yeah. Just, just pump do your arms, everything harder. Right? Fast, just like, go harder, 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 and that's going to increase your speed. That's one way to run, but that's uh, lack of knowledge of knowing how to run. Mm. It's like my mom knows how to run. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> my grandma knows how to run. Uh, my, my grandma can play basketball. All right, yeah. anyone can play basketball, but can you really play basketball? Right. All right. So, I always teach coordination first. Learn your body. So I'm gonna give you some data information for the brain, to send through your body because the brain controls the body. So now let's understand how to get faster, how to cut better. Right. So I can even teach a receiver how to get in and out of their cuts more efficiently just by learning how to decelerate, learning how to release more elastic energy with the foot. A lot of guys when they work out. Their calves aren't usually tired when they're running routes or when they're on the Ever. field, right? Ever. Yeah, so now the calf means it's not being activated. Not moving, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not being activated, which calf stores a lot of elastic energy, and it's going to make you very powerful We learn how to use it. Mm. You're so, so you're saying every time you run, this should be sore? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, so. That's never happened to me before. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I'm running right. I've heard, I've heard yeah. that before. I know, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. well clearly, I tore my activated, yeah. Yeah. Because when I sprint and do I, my workouts, my calves are always sore. Really? Is it because you're on your toes? On your toes, right? Mm. And then we do a lot of ankle strengthening yep. because yeah. we don't want the ankle, the heel to collapse. Yeah. So we want it real stiff so it decreases the ground contact time. See a cheetah run, the foot's in and off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that, right? And you see a cheetah, it's like their heel's not going to collapse. They're on their toes. Yeah. Push a car. This is just one thing, right? You push yeah. a car automatically you're going to get on your toes. toes. Yeah, you have to. Right, you have to, right, yeah. to create force more linear. So number one thing almost takes, like, probably takes almost 10 to 15 hours just to teach the athlete how to control their body, use their body, because wow. there's a lot of points to, you kick a ball with your foot, you eat with your hand. A UFC fighter can throw with their elbow. You can punch with your knee. So we're going to have points, and we're going to learn how to use them all at the same time. Yeah. That was <laughs> within a movement. Mm. Right? And not just be so simple minded, but be a little more complex with the body and to learn to get the brain to use it all at once. Right. So we break down drills for that, do strength training for that, we do band drills for that, and we try to put it all together with certain drills. But it's no longer just run around a cone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> run around a cone, run around this cone and working in jillies. No, it's like yeah. it's foot placement, certain angles pushing off the inside ball of the foot to create more force in that direction, how to extend that direction without even having to turn, right? So now if we get those movements down, okay, we have to understand the muscles that create more force within that movement. Now we're yeah. going to strengthen that muscle. So it's a whole little breakdown of this whole process of what's your movement, what's your game like. If I get a certain athlete and this is a game, like Keenan Allen, for example, right? Yeah. We had like a 30-minute conversation on – whether he wants to join this training. And I told Keelan straight out, so you just signed for what? I think it was like 55 or 60 million. 
Right. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, this conversation <laughs> last year. Yeah. I took Keenan. I was like, yeah, so I heard, you know, you're, you're the man at speed, this and that. And I was like, you yeah, know, I get everyone faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I just told them, I was like, I'm just going to basically save you time. I'm going to get you faster. It's going to be no, like, this. that's a guarantee. But Keen is very smooth on his routes. Right? right, yeah. He's a great route runner. Now, if I increase his velocity, his speed, those routes change. Mm. So I told him, I was like, you're going to have to adjust your routes now. Right? You're going to have to adjust how to break, how to pace yourself, because you have it down already. Yeah. You know? Right. Like, he has it down to a T. Now I get him faster, and he's going to have to get out, in and out of his brakes on the three to four steps now. Mm. He's getting out at two. Yeah. Tyreek Hill has to get out in three because he's that fast. He has to adjust his routes now, right? So I told Keenan that, and he's like, you're right. That makes a lot of sense. It's like, so just I'll give you time. Just hit me up. Within the week, just let me know. And he was like, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah. You know, I'm just yeah. going to chill on that one. Yeah. Right? Because even DBs talk about how smooth he is in on his routes, right? Yeah. yeah. But then he wanted to work with me because I said, Keenan, who are they talking about? They even talk about you on ESPN like that? I told him that, you know? You knew how to, like, push his buttons, huh? No, I told him. I was yeah. like, Keenan. It's real, though. Yeah. You're like, one of the best receivers out there. That's true. Yeah. No one really knows except out here in L.A. Right. Who's talking about you in Alabama, in Florida? No one. In Texas? It's Julio. It's Odell. It's A.B. Yeah. It's, you know, like. Yeah. Rookie Tyreek. Yeah. Yeah. Tyreek, Tyreek yeah. of course, you yeah. know. Uh, Devontae. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, uh, Devontae Adams. Like, yeah. even Right, Adam Thielen, you know, yeah. <laughs> Diggs, Shoot. Diggs, Diggs yeah. Yeah. right, and a then lot of it's names like, will come up before him. Yeah, yeah, a lot of names. Like you only hear about Keenan out here in California, right? And sometimes, like, yeah. So that's how I, that's why I told them. And he's like, "You're right." I was like, "You know why? The camera follows the ball." Yeah. Right. They don't see your route. The fans don't see your route. The reporters ain't gonna see your route. They see right. the ball. They see the quarterback. Well, that ball goes, boom, they see the catch. Cool catch, Keenan, but you're not doing anything after that. You're not making an explosive play. You're not making that 50-yard, 60-yard touchdown like the rest of those guys, right? And he was like, damn. He was like, shit, you right. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, he was like, he goes, you're right. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Keenan. Sense. I was like, you're not getting the props that you really should have, yeah. but because you're really not that exciting with the ball afterwards. You're not doing anything, you know? The speed will do that, though. You could have took that to the crib now. Right. Instead of going out of bounds or cutting it and then going down, right? You could take it to the crib. So that was uh, you know, one of those deals where uh, an athlete didn't really want the speed because he's like, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. I've never um, heard of that, though. Isn't speed always better in route always. running? I don't understand that. Always. Like, why Keenan was a that? special. That was a special case. Because his route running, I even it's, asked, is so oh yeah, smooth. But doesn't it become even it, it, more lethal if you're smooth and you're faster? Well, he well, knows, he knows his time. body. Yeah, he, yeah. Like I said, he knows his body. And if you know your body, I mean, quite honestly, that's probably one of the best assets you can have as a receiver. Because you can do things to your body. Like if you know your body and DB doesn't know, yeah. and you everything that you're doing, it just this. There's no way of knowing, like, there's no, there's no way of knowing what you're going to do next. And that's kind of like, exactly Keenan, what they say. It is, and that's like yep. Keenan, like when he comes off the line, like the DBs, he, he doesn't know if he's going to like one, two, go around him. He doesn't know if he's going to go by him, yeah. but he, and he can, he knows his body so well, he can give off the impression that he's moving fast and not actually be fast. Mm. Makes sense. Um, is, was he a basketball player too? Yeah, yeah. That's what he has that. He has that. That. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, like hop step. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. He, he he's he's different. But yeah, that's that's I've never I've never heard that explained like that. But that that's pretty that's cool. That's interesting. So did you yeah. end up working with him? No, he didn't want to. Uh, oh wow, he didn't want to do any speed work. Really? Yep. <laughs> Long well, story short, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I guess that's why I didn't make the Pro Bowl. No, I mean that's. <laughs> He's a good receiver, <laughs> right? He's a good receiver. No, yeah, he's a good receiver. But who would you rather have? Let's be honest. Tyreek Hill or Keenan? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Let's be, Julio yeah. Jones or Keenan? Yeah. That's right? Like, yeah. Julio's the best. Yeah. yeah. A.B. or Keenan? Yeah. 
No, I probably. Have I mean, a-, a B in his prime. Yeah, A B in his prime. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, not the rapper. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> All right, so it's like at the end of the day, yeah, speed always wins. Yeah, yeah. All right, but you know that that was that was his story. Yeah, and I know we got to wrap it up. I, I'm I'm curious who you think the best, like just straight athlete is in the NFL. Just raw athlete. Maybe we can narrow it down because just raw raw athlete and receiver, like the receiver DB position. Maybe actually we can give you running back because uh, that, that's, that's no, just all players. All right? players. Yeah. Well, all players, but then huh? are you going to include offensive and defensive? You know just, no, no, we're not doing that because those <laughs> those are <laughs> athletes. Those are freaks. Though. Those that's, are freaks. Yeah. We're, not, can, we're, not, we're not doing like the Aaron Donalds of the world. Five we're not flat doing those guys. over three hundred. Yeah, pounds. but that man moves. But the I'm saying the guy that. It's just right when you said that, and he just popped in my mind. Uh-huh. Aaron Donald. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Like that's just freaking. What's his forty time? Freak. I think it was like a four six four yeah. seven. Low key though. Yeah, What's uh, Miles Garrett might be another Miles, freak. Four, Holy five. shit! Davion ran a good time at yeah. a. Uh, should, uh, what about a receiver? Because that's what people like. Yeah, receiver. Yeah, that's what everyone gets <laughs> hyped yeah, about. Yeah, that's what everyone gets hyped about. Aaron Donald's like no one gets hyped about Aaron Donald. I get hyped about Aaron Donald. That guy's freak. Holy shit. Receiver, uh, that's, that, that's tough, you know. Best pure is it OBJ? He's up there for sure. Yeah, but see, I don't think OBJ. See, at their prime, there. and like, how do you define athlete? Like, that's a big one. You can too. just look at somebody. who's the most impressive. You seen yeah. receiver? Yeah, that's Tyreek. Yeah, that, that's yeah. like a no brainer. He's so no light brainer. and small, yeah. though. What? Dude. <laughs> because like, like what he makes bro. plays. Okay, no, he's the they fastest. Do. But like, what does athleticism mean? Like, bro, are you means... taking into account power and, and no, uh, strength? Everything. You see how high he, his he jump? Forty-two inch vert. Yeah, his does he? Bro, yeah. he be monster. He runs a four-two. Has a forty-two inch vert, bro. Yeah. Not only that. How about DK? He's doing it at a. He's doing it at a bigger size. DK is cool, but his lateral ability is is lacking. Right, yeah, his lateral ability is lacking. Yeah. He's not explosive on his cuts like a Randy Moss. Yeah. Randy Moss was very explosive yeah. on his cuts, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, yeah. DK's a little choppy, a little stiff on it. That's why I didn't you think know? DK would be successful. I was dead wrong about that. Like, coming yeah. out, I was like, I don't know, yeah, I knew AJ would, but yeah. I didn't think because DK's routes I didn't think were crispy. I mean, crispy. at the end of the day, just look at, <laughs> yeah, I mean, D- DK at the end of the day, like, he's a good receiver, but if you look at the production, yeah, just Go down the line. I think he's top twelve. Oh yeah. If you yeah. look at he's it. up there. Yeah. Yeah. If he's, yeah, yeah. he's top twelve, yeah. he's not in the top five. Yeah. Right. Everyone's so mesmerized by DK because of his size, yeah. his speed, Tyree and, production though. Right. Yeah. It's like Holmes. Like how if, much of that? But you that? also have Travis Kelsey who's catching a lot of balls. Yeah. You yeah, they have a lot of options. Yeah. You have a lot of options. So then you take it like at the big picture, like dude, like what you like, dude is. Different. He's different, like he's Tyreek moves different, just like, just different. Like I mean, just yeah. watching it, like yeah, you get, I bro. test, I yeah. test. You yeah. Like you tell. can't say there's a game where a DB said I shut down Tyreek. Hell no. Oh, is it J- Jalen Ramsey? Remember that? No, he didn't shut. He sh- yeah. No, Tyreek actually oh, he went crazy. roasted him. Yeah, no, he but he like him. he called him uh, return special. Oh, that was the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then he then, torched. And then yeah, I think. But you can go on games and see DK get shut down by Jalen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you got to put two on Tyreek. Yeah, just put one on DK. Yeah. A good one, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah well, so didn't I? Call, I call. Did I call you? And I and I told you, I it was the best. That was the he's the best athlete no. player I've ever seen. I've ever seen. Like, it's it's crazy. What's his weakness? That's that's what I was saying. Like he he legitimately doesn't have a weakness, and you think it'd be catching because he's a smaller guy, yeah. and that's like, but dude. Has hands. Has it, will sna- it will snatch everything. So, like, you were in the locker room with him. What do you think separates him from other? Is it like just, work ethic just natural, or like just natural? It's just natural. Like he just yeah. says like, it's like there's just like, you, <laughs> so like yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Like, you, <laughs> it, that's, like <laughs> that's him though. Hey, that's really him. That's <laughs> him too. Yeah. Like they're in the rounds. Like we'll talk, we'll say that. We'll just be talking. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. like, straight up. It, it's just at, yeah, at a certain point, great. it's just God given, and you can, and like there's nothing yeah. else you can do. I'm short, but don't matter. <laughs> 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 Seriously, wow. and, yeah. and, a, and, a comp- and a competitor too. Okay, I think, and, and that might be the biggest thing. Honestly, yeah. like you're right, it, it's the competitive aspect, and it goes back to like Tim Tebow. Like some guys, when on, when it comes to competing wise, like they're just different, and that hunger is different, and like people have hunger out there, but there's someone that has like a bigger bite, and that's Tyreek. And his, yeah. and his bite, his bite is different. 
Yeah. You can see that. Um, you can see that. Yeah, you, you can see Probably that. I got a chip on his shoulder. He wasn't highly recruited, I don't think. Like, he didn't go to no. a big school or nothing like that. No. Was like, I have no he idea wasn't a receiver in college. He was, what was he? Yeah, I didn't he know. He turned specialist receiver. and running back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. He went wow. fifth. He went fifth. Yeah, he, he went, went fifth, fifth round. round. Yeah. Only because what of school like. did he go to? Legal, Oklahoma West, State. No, no. It was, was Western Georgia. West Georgia. And then Oklahoma but State. But he transferred. F- he probably transferred from Oklahoma State. Yeah. went to like Western Georgia. Okay. I remember him walking up the escalator. And them talking about, like, he was talking with, uh, it might have been Mike, Mike Remmers, one of the linemen, about game checks. This goes back to chip on the shoulder. And he was like, they're like, oh, it's like $32,000 for a game check. He was like, dude, honestly, like, that was more than my mom and dad made put together. Wow. Wow. Hey. And so, like, that goes back into, like, what we were talking about earlier, full circle. Like, guys just have a different type of hunger. Like, yeah. it, 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 I'm, I'm going to do it at any cost. Yeah. I'm going to make this work. And for him, it's a competitive aspect, and he also has God-given talents, but just just a different bite. Wow. And it might, and, and there's a lot of things that, and there's a story behind it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. So. That's a great yeah. way to wrap it up, dude. That was a great story. Yeah. That was good, yeah. Came full circle. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate you coming on, man. Appreciate it Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was a really good fun. time. Yeah. 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 This might be our best episode. I yeah. really, I really <laughs> enjoyed it, honestly. Oh, yeah. It was sick. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Appreciate it.